When I started this save in November 2019, I had a dream. I read about Tasmania Berlin and about the records that it was set in the Bundesliga way back in the 65-66 season when they only got 8 points. And I had a dream to take them from the 6th division where we were situated and now in real life situated in Division 5 but at that time we were situated in Division 6 and take them from that league all the way to the Bundesliga and beat that total of 8 points and we did it. We, we did it quite comfortably in the 150 episodes. We finished um, last season and our one and only stay in the Bundesliga. We've, we've got 42 points I think and we finished 9th so we absolutely destroyed it. We did really really well. This season unfortunately I think we're going to beat it again but this time it's not going to be the record point total. We're going to break that. We're probably going to finish with less points because we have been absolutely appalling. We're on such a bad run of form. We can't seem to string a pass together. And are the players that played really well last season just have forgotten how to play football. Confidence is gone. Everything is going wrong. And we've only got a small case of Ajax next. And yeah, I can't see the problem there. Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here from Heat the Ball Gaming and welcome back to episode 151 of That Football Manager 2019 Safe where, yeah, as you heard, we were taking Tasmania Berlin all the way to the Bundesliga. And because we've got European football this year, we didn't stop the save. We've got the Daniel Yusudowski Stadium getting built, we've got lots of great things going on and I don't want to get relegated this season but, you know, we haven't had a great start and we need to beat Mainz 05 today, basically and then move on to the Ajax game and get a result against them if we've got any hope of um, having a decent season, to be honest. I'll just show you the schedule. The schedule, the results aren't showing the whole story. We're just getting outclassed in every game. Your last year for the Ghent game, we played RB Leipzig, and they withdrew 2-2. And Leipzig are a pretty decent side. Antonio Budimir getting his first goal, and then Music getting a equaliser later on. But Leipzig outplayed us long spells of the time. I think we had 32% of the possession and this tactic just seems to have stopped working. Maybe other teams have just figured us out. But I tried to go that defensive one. You know, the 5-3-1. The 5-3-2, five, 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 uh, five, sorry. And it worked really well the last couple of seasons when I've switched it. But we got beat 3-2. 3-0. By Leverkusen, which is, <coughs> yeah, it was our worst performance. It was probably worse than even in the 5 1 defeat to Borussia Dortmund. Then we followed that up with a 0 0 draw against Nantes. I think we should have won that, to be honest. We had the better chances, but yeah, the players just looked treff of um, confidence. And then went to Werner Bremen. They were free up, and then we decided to play. And we could have snatched a late equaliser, but Music cu- uh, scuffed a shot. We're going straight into this today. I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do if we lose today. Because we should be beating Mainz quite comfortably. So we're going to go for second goal. So it's fast becoming my least favourite player of all the saves uh, I've had. He is just horrendous. He cost us a lot of money. £4 million. And he just looks like a player that just can't play football. Got Pinto, Kreft and Boy. Trying to keep it the same as last season because... Wood came in and results haven't been that great. Colombo on the left, he's a f- upgrade on what we had. Crocbo and Alher and uh, Slotner's come in. He's another big summer signing, three million he cost us. He has all the tools to be a decent player there, but things aren't going well. And then Ferreira, Binnendorp and Music, pretty much the status quo from last season. But the team are absolutely getting annihilated. And Shrek looks like he's playing well but the goals he's letting in are just horrendous he's not moving for them he's not diving but what have I what have I said to him I have no idea right send a system because I don't have time for this nobody's got time for this I don't know but yeah you'll see today that the goals that are going in are wonder goals we're not stopping the players running 
the tactics are exactly the same as what they have been, so I really do not understand what's going on. It's just been a general malaise around the club. <laughs> so the only thing is that there's a couple of other bad teams in the in the league, so hopefully we'll pick up enough points against them to stay up, but we're gonna have to have to start picking up points pretty soon. This was one I had marked on the on the calendar as winnable, so um get creative. There we go, Ferreira. Alright, I was waiting to ball come there for not picking up. Here's Maidendorp. Maidendorp. Oh, I thought it was going to be a penalty out her. Croke Bow, who didn't have a great season last season out her, and that's a. Oh, that's unlucky. Problem is, everybody's looking isolated. It's all looking just a bit. That's out, surely. Where's the linesman? And look at that, just threads it through our defence like it's not even there. And Boy and uh, Kreft were really, really solid last season. <coughs> really solid. And Wood is a, is a great upgrade on the other way, both of them, so I, I don't understand. It's Lovely from Pinto. Ferreira. Oh, music as a way to see. It looked a bad pass, but it's not in Middendorp. Penalty. It is penalty. Who's taking it? Slotner. Oh, that sums up the season. Oh. <laughs> so I was quite confident Slotner slotted a really good penalty away the last time so uh, team far from pleased right why a slot uh, calm what more to come no oh, that I've made him worse made him worse he's <laughs> he's going to get sent off isn't he right let's let's just take him off I think <laughs> I think it's just asking for trouble. <laughs> we can go Perry on. <laughs> oh, Pinto beautifully stepped through. He's got his work cut out to stay in the team this season, but... Oh, music! Oh! We're having the chances, we're just not taking them. Get creative, go on, treat yourself to a bit of creativity. Music's not playing well, so it's time for Shimmick to come on. Oh, come on, close them down. Pinto away. What was that? What was that? I, I don't even I don't even know what happened there. What what happened? I, I don't even I, I don't even know what happened there. That's what I don't know, but I'm not enjoying this save anymore. <laughs> this was supposed to be the season that took us to the the promised land. Pause tactics. Vladimir. 
Head up here, pal. We were supposed to push on. We've missed a penalty. We've scored the most awful own goal you could ever imagine. <laughs> Injuries, Midland Dots playing terrible. Got a goalkeeper, it looks like he's never seen a football before. It's all going wrong. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> I still have no idea what that own goal's all about. I, I, I can't even. Shrek, it just kind of bounced into the goal. I want to see this goal again. Just because I have no idea how it. how or who it hits. I just. I just can't figure it out. Let's pause it. That speed. We're going to take it right down because I want to see where it goes. Maybe not as slow as that. Right there, right? Let's see. So, just, just a free. Just free. Takes it out to Angler Helgen. And he's, yeah, right. Let's see. Right, so he should, this guy here. Ferreira should stop it, but he doesn't. He lets it go in. Right. So let's go take it right down. And... It says it's a Shrek own goal. But... It doesn't touch anybody. It doesn't touch anybody. <laughs> it's a ghost goal. <laughs> Everybody's against us. Right. I'll come back for the Ajax game. So Ajax. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. <laughs> right, so we've got for Kodar and goals. He's getting a debut of fire in the European Cup. We've got McGrain, Wood, Boy and Colombo. Kropbo, Slotner, Alhar, Posevic, Middendorp and Simic. And um, yeah. I don't know what to say, what to do. It could be a proper thrash in here. The save's kind of getting to me a little bit now. <laughs> it's got, I feel like how I felt like when the first year we were in the free leaguer. But the whole save kind of depended on us getting out of the free leaguer. I know the Ajax game is just a, just a little bit of a bonus, this uh, Europa League run, but it is super exciting, but I'd rather be going in and playing them in good form. I've just got to persevere. 17 year old goalkeeper against them is probably not the best, but you know. Shrek's letting, letting in goals without even uh, <laughs> touching it. So. I give a young lad a chance. Crocbo's just not been fit this season. He just keeps dropping off his fitness. Get creative. 
Do we know that one works? I don't know how good Ajax are in an actual game because Holland isn't loaded up. So it could go either one or two ways. Sometimes these teams that aren't loaded up can be really, really good and then other times they're just not as good as what they are in real life. <coughs> well, I'm happy with that. 0-0 no, no draw so far. If we get a goal for favourites to win, we still improve. We still improve. Faith, go. Score a goal and win. That's all we need. One good result and I think it'll turn our season round. A game against Ajax would be a perfect time to come up with that. A team that we're expected to get beaten by. Simic! Oh! It'll bounce off somebody's bum and go in against us. We've just not got had any luck. That's the problem. It's not the, it's not the fact we've been really, really bad. It's been luck that's obscuring our chances. So right, get creative. They're bringing on Hillary Gong. I heard I said Hillary was a girl's name, but then I remembered the, the famous doctor in, who used to be on this morning, Hillary Jones, and he was a he was a man. Right. Music's coming on. Croke was struggling. So repair is coming on. No, these are good substitutes I'm making. It's <laughs> Shouts. Get creative. Happy way things are going. No, no draw away from my axe would be quite nice, but now I've said that, they're going to score. <laughs> it's almost like the game can hear me. I'm speaking through a microphone or something. Oh! Who was that? Oh! It's Marcus Boy! He just lets it bounce past him. This is ridiculous. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This has become a disaster. Aggressive. Apart from please, I just feel like I'm being aggressive every single week. It's just not happening. We've got a German Cup second round against Leicester Baston. It's a, it's a chance for us to, if we play a strong team, to get a good result. But, yeah... We didn't deserve to lose that. We really didn't. Um, right, we're close to getting back. Nice one to score. There we go. Right. We will come back soon. <laughs> I don't know when. I, I, sorry, this has been a depressing episode. <laughs> I can't. I'm going to have to come up with something special round about here. We'll play on. We'll come back for... If, 
if Ajax beat us again, we're probably out of the Europa League. But if not, we'll come back for the Genk game. Wolfsburg maybe. But yeah, this run of games, eh, 9th and 16th, we need to get a result here. Schalke's 11th. We need to start winning these games. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.